Hello, Utah! Woo! I am so excited to be exploring around the western part of my beautiful country. And right now I am in Moab because I am going to be spending the next 48 hours living in an RV. I have been invited to experience the RV lifestyle by Sun Outdoors, a company that offers RV, camping, and vacation rental stays in 175 places. I am heading now to their campsite, which is just over there. I'm gonna go pick up the RV and get this party started. That is the RV that I'll be spending the next 48 hours in. I'm seeing it for the very first time and it is pretty beautiful. Just see how big it is when you stand next to it, I mean. <sighs> All right, let's go inside and check it out. Whoa! <laughs> here you got a lovely welcome basket with a bunch of towels. A lovely kitchen right here. Beautiful bed right here. Da -da -da -da. The bathroom. Looks like we got a pretty standard toilet set up here. I will definitely be using this shower because uh, yeah, I'm quite dirty, I can't wait. Sun Outdoors does a fantastic job of making you feel home, making you feel comfortable, and this is nice. Lounge on the, on the couch, even though I have nobody to, to chat with here. Awesome, was not expecting a microwave. Full stove here to cook anything, which uh, I'm not a good cook, and honestly, I don't know how what I'm gonna do about food. Another really cool loft up here, which is, uh, I guess another bed or a place to store stuff. Ooh, a TV. I think that's one of the biggest takeaways I'm gonna have here is that like RV life is actually comfortable and fun. And yes, I do plan to drive this thing around Moab to go see the beautiful uh, national park and all of its glory. Wandering around the RV park, trying to meet some people and try to understand what draws them to live here in RVs and what's, what's the motivation. I see license plates from all over Massachusetts, Montana, Minnesota, all my life. I'm 30 years old and I've never been to an RV park. I've always driven by them and looked at them and maybe thought that it's not something that I would enjoy, but it's really cool. What are your names? Michelle. I'm Tom. What are you guys doing in Moab? Just getting in the Jeep and getting on some trails and hiking and all that good stuff. You drove here from Illinois? Yeah. We're taking our RV to national parks, so we're gonna hit four. Arches, Reef, Canyon, Capitol Reef, Capitol Reef, Canyonlands, Bryce Canyon. We both have done a little dabbling in RVs, yep. and uh, my parents actually RV'd for close to 30 years after he retired, and they hit every highway in the U.S. We are not the, the sit on the front porch in the rocking chair kind of people. So full-time RVing was the perfect solution for us. Yeah, there's so much to see and do. The whole YOLO thing, you know, you only live once, is so true. And there's so much to see. You want the desert? You got the desert. We've got forests, we've got mountains, we've got, I mean, you name it, it's here. Right in front of me is a, a hippie van or something with the Statue of Liberty and some cool words. We're gonna go meet these people. What's going on, guys? What are you making? Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, we're doing pasta. You're making pasta? Yeah. So, like, this is the most intense kitchen I've ever seen. <laughs> so, what inspired you to, like, come to Moab and, and to, like, RV? The idea is we landed in Vegas and we did a 17-day road trip. We started our trip at Angel's Landing. We went to uh, Sedona after that. Yeah, Sedona was a really nice city. That's like an hour from my house in Phoenix. Really? Yeah. Oh, you live in Phoenix, yeah. okay. We wanted to go to Phoenix. The best thing I will say is to... Uh, I like to cook and uh, eat breakfast with a view. The RV concept was first brought to America from Europe in the early 1900s. Roland and Mary Conklin made headlines for traveling from New York to San Francisco in their Gypsy Van, a bus transformed into a double-decker RV. During the Great Depression, Americans who could not afford their houses were able to sleep in their RVs and find work on the road. RV expansion stalled during World War II, but then picked up again in the 50s and 60s with the dawn of the Winnebago. In modern times, creativity is reinventing the RV lifestyle. The most expensive RV in the world was recently sold for $3 million. It featured an expandable roof deck, a rainfall shower, a delicate bar, and a whole lot of luxury. Nowadays, over 40 million Americans go RVing on a regular basis to experience the beautiful national parks and wonders of the U.S. This is crazy. This family just arrived literally five minutes ago. They drove in for two days and they have all this incredible equipment. Oh. Well, now we're going to run into that one. Does it come out? No. <laughs> does it? I was like, does it come out? What the heck? Wait, wait. wait. Now we want to run into the pole. Keep going for it. Go. <laughs> That's the way to do it. This is like the Beverly Hillbillies of camping. <laughs> Keep going. 
How big is this thing? How many square feet? Uh, almost 420 with all the slide outs out, if they count the lock. <laughs> So what do you guys like so much about the like the RV lifestyle? So we can kind of just go where we want to go and be what we want to be. <laughs> you know, the people you meet are great. Man, this is pretty badass. We like it. I've been a lot of work into it. How long it. have you had it for? Oh, geez, uh, about four years. Four years. Do you see that wheel? That's a different one than the other two. Yeah. We snapped that axle. That wheel was. That wheel was. They should go like this. That one was like this when we got about 500 yards from our spot. I couldn't imagine if you didn't know how to work on stuff, where we go. Yeah. You know, some of these people will always only be on highway and asphalt, but we go pretty far off road. Once we get to the campsite, this is where we have a little. Yeah. Is that your uh, preferred beverage of choice, mm -hmm. Bird Dog? Oh. oh my God. What are their names? This is Tim and Velvet and Ben. <laughs> how old are they? Uh, they're nine weeks. <laughs> oh my God. Are you serious? It's insane. Oh my god. Sorry, they had to get out. No, no, no. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Seems like you guys set up. Like, when you arrive, you go in this, like, oh, different it's mindset. A different mode. Yeah. And you just, like, full on set up. Because until we get done doing this stuff, we, we can't, can't park. You can't relax. Yeah, yeah. So. I want to see inside. Would you mind giving me a quick tour? Or like, um, you can do sure. So, if we're going down the road, it's nice they leave you enough to get in here and get to the bathroom while everything's folded in, right. which you do on the side of the road almost every time you stop. Sure. But you see the pathway here is right up again. So. Man, this is huge, dude. I'm not an RVer. This is my first time seeing this. So you're oh, pressing yeah. a button and then it's just yeah. opening, yeah. It, opening it up. And this is in, this comes up right against. So there would be enough to get to one side of your fridge. There's our mascot. <laughs> We got him at some gift shop in some town. All right, guys, we need a little bit of a life update. So I've now been uh, in this RV park for about five hours. Met some really interesting people who have fascinating life stories. It, it's so crazy to me that these people literally just drive their RV around the country, park it, fix it up, make their own food. It's a really simplistic lifestyle and it's very beautiful. I mean, it's really, it's real. People are just enjoying the nature, they're enjoying the elements, they're enjoying the beauty of America. But more than just the beauty, the culture of America is fascinating and, and, and the RV lifestyle is one of the most interesting, in my opinion, uh, cultural elements that we have in the USA. So it's getting dark outside and I forgot that I haven't eaten yet today. And I, there's a stove here and you know that I don't know how to cook, but I have to go find my food and cook my own food. Oh my God. So I have to go like walk to the supermarket and then buy yeah, some. Yeah, you can like do uh, KFC or what? No, I'm gonna buy some chicken and vegetables and uh, wish me luck, pray that I'm gonna eat tonight. Okay, I know I can teach you about cooking later. Okay, okay. Well. all right, love you, bye. Okay. I'm walking now through the town of Moab, which is really interesting and reminds me of Arizona. I mean, look, with these Red Rock Mountains and trying to find a local supermarket. I think I have found the place, City Market, Food and Pharmacy. If you couldn't tell already, I eat out like 90% of my meals. And the other 10% Deanna cooks for me. I like mushrooms. Guacamole. Alright, I think I need cooking oil. That's how you cook, right? My favorite section in any store is the travel section. I literally buy all my stuff here. So I need shampoo, which is right here. Boom, shampoo, two in one. Perhaps the most important thing that I'm buying is water. My one guilty pleasure. Oh yeah. rare moment because you've never seen me cook in the kitchen and you probably will never see it again so enjoy they say if you eat a whole clove of garlic you won't get sick <sighs> burns Ooh. oh my god <coughs> well as long as I'm getting healthy I'm legit crying right now <coughs> I think it's a combination of the onions 
and the garlic. <coughs> well, you've seen me cook, and now you've seen me cry. <laughs> oh, it smells good. All right, now for the big bird. It's rewarding when you cook your own food and then you eat it. The satisfactory feeling is immense. I think we are just about done, guys. Here we go. Welcome to Binsky's Kitchen. First bite of chicken. Oh man, that is cooked perfectly. And if you're a chef out there, comment below and critique my cooking skills. <laughs> It's time to document a little shower experience, just like I've done on the Trans-Siberian train recently, and this one's a little bit different. I'm in an RV. Oh God, it's freezing. For once, I'm taller than a shower. <laughs> Good times, good times. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 All right. I think that's all she wrote. Oh. All right. It has been a day. Can't wait for tomorrow morning. Gonna go explore Arches National Park and Canyonlands. It's gonna be sick. See you guys then. Good night. I'm about to drive the RV to Arches National Park, but I don't know how to unhook it and how to get it there, so I'm gonna go ask someone for help. Morning, fellas. Morning. How are we doing? Good. I need some help unhooking all this stuff because I'm gonna f it up if I try to do it myself. I'm, an, I'm a first timer, you know? Yep. Yeah, I tried that already, but I guess I didn't do it hard enough. Can not do that one because you got oh, pressure in it? Okay. Pressure. <laughs> yeah, you got pressure in there. That Open would make something up. That, that would make sense. Yeah. Flush your yeah. toilet or something. Oh, you flush the toilet? Yeah. <laughs> I got these guys helping me out. They're f hilarious. Did it work? Yeah. Yeah, I would have not gotten this on my own. There's no chance. Okay, and then this one? That one? That one. Build that back in here. You unplug it. This here? Yep. This is literally just, oh, that's the power. Yeah, you're just gonna unplug it. We leave it here? No, this rolls up into your Oh, got it. That makes sense. All right, I am ready to go. Let's head to Arches National Park. It's funny because I'm so uncomfortable driving an RV by myself. I'm more comfortable in freaking Yemen or Afghanistan than uh, in Utah driving an RV. I'm not all right. I can't figure out how to turn off the emergency brake. Wouldn't it be this button? All right, I can't turn off the freaking emergency brake. I'm not joking, this is ridiculous. I'm gonna get help again from a random person. How you doing? Can I ask you for a favor? I mean, I just need help. I can't turn off the emergency brake. I don't know, I'm renting this RV. I think it's that thing on the very left, but it looks to be a jam. Oh, yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, oh, you have to press the lever. Right I was trying to do it with Break my foot. Yeah, that, that, that would make sense. <laughs> hey, appreciate it. Have a good day. <laughs> oh God, I am a freaking moron. Two arches, we go. I hope this is gonna be all right. Hope that water doesn't spill. Gotta move that water. Where's my? Oh my God, there's no rear view mirror. I was like, where's my rear view mirror? Shit, there's no rear view mirror. No sunglasses, but I can see better. All right, my very first time driving an RV is now. Okay, it's a big boy. Oh man, look at me and my, my RV right here. Just chilling, chilling in this beautiful, Beautiful rock formations. I mean like woo! I'm telling you guys the best thing about this country is the national parks is the nature. How are rocks just like that? Like I just don't understand <laughs> wow. 
How you doing? Good. Can I take a look at what you're, what you're sure. painting? Wow. How long have you been here? I started it this morning. You just do this as a hobby or just yeah, you yeah. selling it or just keeping it on your wall? Yeah, just a hobby for now. I'm building up inventory. There you go. Someday I'll uh, try to get into market. No, See? not yet. That's two people that you could have just got to buy that in the last 10 seconds. And you know, people ask me that a lot. People buy, oh, can I buy that? It's like, it's not even finished. Yeah. How, how are you going to buy this? It's, it's still wet. Hello. Hi. How are you? How are you? Good, how are you? I know you from YouTube channel. Yeah. I know him. My son, <laughs> my son is... Oh, really? You are, you are he Iran. Iran. He's Persian? He's yeah, Iran. he went to Iran. You are his favorite, my son. You've been in Iran everywhere. Yeah. See, our Persian. You know how many YouTube I channels that. I saw? Are you Jewish? Of yeah, yours? Persian really? too. I yeah. swear. Yeah. Uh, thank you very thank much. You thank you, thank Go you. Go ahead. Woo! You, now you interview us. <laughs> what are you doing here? We are from Los Angeles, California. What do you think about Moab? Moab Unbelievable. is amazing. Amazing. Oh, amazing. Amazing. First time experience. Amazing. We Why? never knew it's going to be like this. Amazing. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye bye. I guess I can escape Iran, but Iran can never escape me. <laughs> by the way, that was such a coincidence. My next series is going to be from Iran. I have six videos coming out. I just spent two weeks there. It's one of my favorite countries in the world. And I can't wait to share with you the beauties of Iran, so stay tuned for that. I have just started a 45 minute hike to visit one of the world's most beautiful arches, which I've known all about my whole life. It's on the Utah license plate. It's something that I've always wanted to do, and I'm gonna be taking you on a journey to get there, sharing with you the beauty that exists in this national park. This place really reminds me of Sedona in Arizona with the red rock formations and these beautiful cliffs. America's so big, but I, I gotta tell you, the western part of the U.S. is significantly more impressive than the east. So if you come to America, road trip the west. <sighs> this is actually a decent hike. Been out here for about 35 minutes. So we got a little straighter walkway, a couple of boulders up here, and I have a feeling, that I don't know for sure, but I have a feeling that right over that bend is gonna be the beautiful arch. Now this is cool. <laughs> We're on the edge of the cliff here. Oh my god, wow, I mean, <laughs> holy crap, that is so cool, the main arch at Arches National Park in Moab, Utah, let's go explore it. Well, here I am, walking under the beautiful arch, holy f look at this thing, Woo! it is windy as hell up here, she's a beauty. Well, it's a little too windy over that bend to talk to camera, but I just want to say that, that was amazing. One of the most beautiful things I've seen, not only in America, but in my whole life. Made it back home. She's waiting here all nice and pretty. It's funny because I say that I made it back home, but actually it is home. Like, this is where I'm sleeping. <laughs> it's so crazy to think that, that like, here I am. This is where I slept last night. Whew. I hear the neighbors next door uh, got some music going and a campfire, so I'm gonna go out there and see what's going on. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film much from this moment, but the guys and I had a wonderful chat about life and how it's the simple things that matter the most. And that's really the takeaway from this video and the RV lifestyle. Realizing that it's incredibly rewarding to take a step back from our busy lifestyles to be one with nature and reconnect with ourselves. That's why people spend weeks, months, and years living in an RV. This American subculture is fascinating, and now it suddenly all makes sense. America, the beautiful. Wait, don't go yet. As part of this partnership with Sun Outdoors, they are so kind to offer one of my subscribers a free three night stay at one of their resorts of your choice. To enter, all you have to do is comment below and let us know where you want to RV and use the hashtag MySunnierSide to enter. And secondly, you have to be subscribed to Sun Outdoors YouTube channel link below. They post some awesome content around the country. The winner will be chosen in exactly 48 hours from the time that this video was posted. Oh, and don't worry if you don't have an RV because they have awesome camping sites and glamping tents available at their properties. Alright guys, with that being said, have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video.
Peace. I'm Drew Binsky and thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel in the bottom left if you want to see more adventures from every country and in the bottom right you will find my second channel which are bonus travel stories that have never been seen. Lastly, on that middle link, I'm giving away for free my best flight hacks. Until next time, stay safe, be spontaneous, and just go.